Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we are going to talk about how to make a raspberry wheat beer. Yeah, so this is a Oyster Original, yep. a recipe that I've created. So um, basically when looking at some wheat beers, pretty much a wheat beer, should I say, a lot of them were a 50-50 grain, nice and easy. So half of it wheat, half of it pale malt. So the inspiration for this was basically my partner, Charlotte, really loves fruit beers. She's just starting getting into beers. And she's drinking a lot of the Samuel Smith's, Creek Boons, those sort of ones. However, <laughs> she's not a massive fan of the sweeteners that come in it. Right. And also she has issues with sulfites. And a lot of them are saying sulfites are not organic. So Samuel Smith's are great because they do all the organic range, but they're really sweet. So she said, can you make me a beer that I like? So I said, yes, my lad loves pink loves pink beer says daddy are you making pink beer and i said i am today so i've made a raspberry whip beer that sounds pretty cool because i mean some of the fruit beers that you spoke about before creek boone i've tried we've tried on the channel yeah. and i didn't really like it but it's cherry isn't it and i am not is it cherry cherry's creek yeah creek, yeah obviously yeah creek and boone, i am cherry salad. i am not a fan of cherry so, really at all so this is raspberry but i've also tailored it to be a high scoring oyster so it should smell good it should look great and it should be sessionable okay. a lot of fruit beers aren't sessionable but i've tried to make this as sessionable as possible do you want to talk us through what's in it before we get in the glass yeah so um obviously it's 50 50 uh so it's uh 50 percent wheat bolt 50 percent pale malt yep nice and easy the yeast that went into it was the uh the white labs 410 uh belgium wit ale yeast number two so that went up to, that's what went in there and then pretty much what i did was about four or five days in fermentation um the original batch that i did was 10 liters so i double that if you're making a 19 one probably about 1.2 kilograms of frozen raspberries but what i did was i didn't let them defrost i emptied them into uh, a big pot and gentle heat and just made it into a mush uh, and then dipped it in. I mean, hopefully, because they were frozen, all the yeast that might have been on it, the natural wild yeast should have been killed, so we shouldn't get any sourness yep. from it. Um, and the reason why I didn't let them defrost is because you put them in a bag, it seeps out the bag and it's going in the bucket, how clean's the bucket, you're leaving it to defrost as well. So obviously any airborne might have get into it, especially, you know, we're sort of getting into the summer with all the doors and windows being open. So that was my sort of theory behind it. Um, about 12 days or no i think i went the full 14 days um period with the fermentation okay didn't uh, so i cold crashed it sorry so i went 12 days cold crashed it for two days uh, and then de decanted it uh into a priming solution uh, and then they went straight into the bottle so it's bottle conditioned okay and are they in small bottles for because it's strong or for uh, your no it should benefit? only it's five percent right. so it's my purely partner's benefit obviously half of it's yours so you have got some uh 500 mill bottles good um so but yeah for for the sake of it this is what i just grabbed on the way here so um yeah that's pretty much it, pretty it, much how it goes so. it sounds good a couple of questions that i've had because i've never really made a fruit beer okay first of all obviously you've done this one with raspberries but yes. could you use like any fruit or are there well, i forgot to say sorry i spiced it with a little bit of sweet orange and, and peppercorn to, uh, just to keep it true to the wit style oh okay but sorry you were carrying can you use yeah. it if anywhere I don't see why not. Obviously, you made the stout with blueberry. Uh, the reason why I went with raspberries is because I find raspberries are quite a lot of strong flavour without the tartiness. So I didn't want it to be a sour beer. So I strayed away from the likes of your blackberries. I thought about, and, and, and uh, blueberries, I thought about strawberries. But for me, I don't get as an intense flavour from the shop-bought strawberries. Maybe if you're growing them at home. I know they're a little different when you grow them. They're a lot more stronger, but I wouldn't have enough. So that's why I went with raspberries. I like raspberries as well. Yeah, and was it... Um, you, you use store-bought frozen raspberries from the yeah. freezer section rather than, you know, go, going foraging. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, yeah. They were just literally um, from a supermarket uh, that begins with S and ends in S. Um, they were frozen, uh, and like I say, 1.2 kilograms I used. So, frozen weight. Fantastic. Should we get it in the glass? I think so. Because I've, so. not, I've not tried this, so this is going to be a first for me. I have got some of it that I get to keep. Oh, nice smoke, um, it's not there. But, <laughs> but I've not tried it. So no, I've not really seen it, to be honest. So oh, wow. It should be highly carbonated, because obviously, again, staying true to the wit style. Um, and then we should get a pinky head. Yeah, we certainly are. And do you get the yeast in, or...? Well, it's been in your car anyway on the way here, so I'm probably not I have no left choice. it a bit, because it's bottle conditioned. I didn't want flakes floating about yeah. in it, so... Well, I mean, you said it was going to be pink, and it was going to have a pink head. And look at that. 
very highly carbonated. Yeah, exactly what we want really, isn't it? Yeah, just, I mean, come on. I mean, I think that is a really good color. Bear in mind, there's no sweeteners, no flavorings, no colors or anything like that. It's all from the raspberry. So, I got, I got a whiff then. I'm not going to talk about that yet. Yet, I'm not going to talk about that yet. But when you're making this, how do you know what hops to use? And do you use a lot of hops? Oh, I forgot to even mention the it? hops, didn't I? Uh, it was, sorry, good job reminding me. It was just, uh, I think I used t uh, 13 grams of Halatau blank. Okay. Just bitter hops, pure bitter, nothing else. All right. So. Well, I've got to say, it looks incredible. It me. does look good, doesn't it? Looks it looks really, really good. It's that like, nice, fluffy, cloud-like head. If you ordered the a colours, fruit beer, that's what you get, wouldn't you? The colour's really good, because sometimes I've seen people drinking you know, fruit beers, and they just look really... Artificial? Artificial or dull, like almost muddy, whereas this really has kept that pink, pinkness from the raspberries. And even the, the head is a little bit pink as well, yeah, isn't it? it is. I'm going to give that... Um, I mean, it looks... It's really hot here today as well. You can probably tell. The weather's out. Sun's yeah. out. Sun's got his hat on. And um, this looks really, really good. I'm going to give this a nine. Wow. I'm going to give it a god tier nine for uh, this. Um, so, I, I, I mean, 8.7 for me. I mean, you're going to score it high, but I think it looks absolutely delicious. Okay. Um, I'm going to dive in for a smell. What should I be smelling? Am I going to get that? I don't want you to get or? any hops. Ideally, I would like a bit of... Uh, peppercorn but i don't think it's there for when i've tasted it but really you want to be getting just raspberries you want to be getting a, just a refreshing smell of, of, of raspberry aroma and you really you really do that yeah. is there's a few oh. yeasty notes but yeah but it's raspberry isn't it it's it, if you smell a raspberry ice cream but without that sweetness yeah yeah it's like a raspberry ice cream or like a raspberry like a raspberry drink yeah. like a, if you had a cocktail with raspberries in yeah. that's well that's that's essentially what this is yeah. but a different yeah that's brilliant. That's brilliant. It's really that's good. really, really good. Yeah. Well, for me... I mean, like I said, I'm not getting the peppercorns. I am no. getting some yeasty notes, but it's still high. It's still an 8.4. Yeah, for my... me, I would give it 8.5. Yeah, that's really... That really smells great. Yeah. Can I well, taste it? For the most important bit, yeah. Cheers. 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 It's highly carbonated. It is highly carbonated. <laughs> That's really nice. It's so nice, isn't it? That's really, really nice. It's not, I thought, because looking at it and smelling it, I thought it'd be quite sweet. And it's got some sweetness, mm. but it's not like, um, sometimes you- I always think that's just from the beer and the- Sometimes you get a fruit beer and it's almost like perfumey sweet, yep. you know, yep. that, and yep. it just tastes like they've dumped syrup in it to try and, bring back the fruit flavour and bring back the sweetness. But with this, it's got a little bit of residual sweetness that that least, the, the least, least, yeast, 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 the yeast has just left behind. Um, but it's not too sweet. You really get that raspberry flavour and you do get that spicy. It's not is it? No, but you get that spiciness from the bitter orange mm. as well. There's a really long flavour at the back. Where did, was, the, was the bitter orange added Early on in the boil, mid boil, late boil? It was added five minutes towards the end. Okay. Yeah, and then obviously while it cooled down and stuff like that. So I didn't want it to be the overpowering part. Um, I really wanted the raspberries to shine. So there wasn't much into it. So there's only 20 grams of the of the orange peel that went into it and um, 25 grams of the peppercorn yeah. that went into it. So And that was for a 10 litre, a 10 litre batch. So um, it, it really wanted to keep it as simple as possible and it was all about the raspberry so you know i didn't want the most complicated grain bill i didn't want any hop notes i just wanted the raspberries to shine and yeah. be a true and there was no beer. there was no raspberries that went into the boil you weren't churning them into the grain father and blocking nope, up the pump no nothing to do with that i just wanted it to be easy so if anyone wants to replicate it go do you know what it's summer's come in i want to churn out a beer in five six weeks uh, it's gonna be a nice fruit beer that everyone's gonna love that was the idea behind this and is that how long this one's been in the bottle for uh, it's been in the bottle now for about four weeks, and so it, probably six weeks old. The beer. How's it developed over that time? Because you've tried that's it. That's got all a little bit more sour. Yep. From when I first made it, so I would. So it's obviously the must. Maybe I've got some a little bit wild yeast that has got in there somehow, a tiny bit. But um, in terms of the raspberry flavour, that's not deteriorated yeah. at all. I suppose depending on how you're packaging this, if you were going to be kegging this beer, if you really wanted, you could um, put some. Uh, potassium metabisulfite in there, kill all the yeast so right. there's nothing in it, and then force carbonate it, and then you know you're not going to get 
uh, wild yeast growth in there if you wanted yeah. to sort of like preserve that flavour. Um, but I suppose what you're saying is if you bottle in it, drink it fresh or expect it possibly to, to sour more over time. Yeah, it doesn't so there might be people that want that. Yeah, um, if you wanted a sour beer, just leave the lid off for a while, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> just see what lands it, chuck a few wasps in there. <laughs> uh, use fresh raspberries. I yeah, yeah. It'd be a bit expensive, that. But yeah, I think it probably would. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we'll get onto the price in a minute, though. Yes. But um, do you want to go first for taste score? I think that's phenomenal. I really, really like it. Yeah. Uh, I would give that, I don't think it's quite God tier, I would give it 8.9, 8.9, just, just on the border. Yeah, I think I'd probably give it uh, an 8.5. Which is it's, good it's for someone that yeah. doesn't like fruit beers, doesn't like sour beers. Considering that going into this, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. Mm. I love it. It's really, really good. Yeah. How much is it? So it's 73p per pint, plus whatever fruit you put in it. So that's including the, 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 the orange peel. Um, I've not included the peppercorn because that's petence, but um, yeah. So, I mean, again, the, the most expensive fact there was a yeast, it was just under nine pound. And is that 73p um, when you make 10 litres or 73p when you, when you make 20 litres? I put it, yeah, so I, did, I doubled it, took, took the yeast out, doubled the grain bill cost, added the yeast on, and then divided it okay. by 38 roughly pints. So, so 73p yeah. and then, so let's say you add in, what, for a 20 litres, a kilo or two kilos of? So you do, yeah. So you probably put in about two kilos of frozen raspberries. So if you were, you've, if you were going to go to let's say popular supermarket chain in the UK, Aldi, I think two kilos of frozen raspberries in Aldi is probably going to cost you five or six quid, yeah. something like that. In. So your seventy three p, um, six quid divided by thirty five. Yeah. It's not a lot. I'm sure they can do the math. Yeah, you. Uh, I'll put the new they price. Might, they, it depends yeah. what fruit they want to use. Yeah, it's but you know, but for an example with raspberries, I'll put the raspberry price on the screen there, um, and then you can use whatever fruit you want. You could grow fruit in your garden. You could have an abundance of rhubarb that you just don't know what to do with. Yeah, that would be a sour beer, but you it could do it. It would be yeah. an incredibly sour beer. <laughs> um, but price-wise, I mean, it's quite expensive. It is expensive. Some of the home brews that done, even expensive. without the raspberries, it's quite uh, pricey. I think maybe with the everything that's going on with the with you know, um, the prices and stuff. I know wheat has um, rocketed up. We were at, um, uh, what's it called, Munters not too far about ago, and they said the wheat had doubled in price. Yeah. So whether that's got a lot to do with it as well. Um, it's not mega, I'd say 6.5. Yeah, I think that's probably fair, 6.5 yeah. as well. Um, I, one thing I think this is really good for, on a day like today, is sessionability. Which, obviously, trying to get it to that Easter, uh, Oyster score. Yeah, um, I, I think you should probably make another one of these. Put it on draft and put it on draft and start it now where are we now we are mid-may mm. so you could have this ready for the end of june going into july oh. Oh. come on well we have got wine and stefano coming out as yes, well we have, coming yeah. out the blocks we've got about 85 so, videos lined up yeah. that we need to yeah. record yeah. and edit so, so although it'd be ideal i could get the ingredients <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i don't know if i can push it up the chain yeah so um i probably could have six of these yeah easily uh, six for me as well. I think it's it's sessionable when it's hot, and it's just not it's not too heavy in the wheat side. Yeah. And these um, smaller bottles on a day like today, where it is sunny, mm. are quite good though. To be fair, because it's yeah. not it's not going to warm up by the time you finish it. It's just a really refreshing. If you get that ice cold, really refreshing beer on a day that's just beautiful. Ah, oh, yeah. you could sink them easy, and it's five percent. It's a nice a nice strength. So yeah. six for me as well. Perfect. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Although, the, this beer, by the way, is called Blowing Raspberries. Um, so do you want to get the oyster score? score? Yeah. There we go. This is the oyster score for this beer. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Smash like, hit subscribe, tell a friend. Uh, and uh, unless Try you, the beer for the summer. Yeah, try the beer for the summer. Um, and other than that, I think we'll just catch you on the next one. Yep. Oysters out. <laughs>